This is a massively desirable piece for a collector, largely due to its rarity. It's got the Paul Newman dial, which made in very limited numbers, and on top of that, the brown subsidiary dials, it makes it completely one-off. This is the Rolex 639 Paul Newman Daytona. It's a chronograph um, and it was really dedicated to motorsport enthusiasts, hence it's named the Daytona. This particular watch wasn't hugely popular when it was released, but in the 80s then, Paul Newman, having bought a few himself, was wearing them in films and was on the front of magazines, etc. And from then, the popularity of them skyrocketed. What defines a Paul Newman dial is the Art Deco numerals. The dials are also accentuated by square indexes too. The dial also is of three colours, so you've got the black outer minute track with the white dial and then black again on the subsidiary dials. The highlight feature of the, the piece is the fact that the subsidiary dials have gone this kind of rich brown. It was a defective paint that they used on the dials that reacted with light. It makes the watch completely unique. There isn't another watch like this in the world. When I first saw the piece, my immediate reaction was that this could be huge. That's the hottest watch in the hottest market right now. 